I'm Dr. John. This is your Maintenance Minute. Uh, hey, look, before we get started, I want to encourage you to subscribe by pushing that button that says subscribed. I think it's down in this corner right here. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to have you on the team of this growing group of folks that are really nailing the storeroom and getting our processes right or any topic on maintenance and reliability. So subscribe now. Be part of a growing team. We're, gonna, we're continuing our conversation on the storeroom and the 32 processes. We're going to talk about one today, and I'll admit this is not a sexy one at all. This is probably, this is the real work. This is the part of the storeroom. This is a store in practice that requires some real work. It's called data scrubbing. It's one of the 32 processes. Here's what we're after. If you remember, or you recall, I, I did a video on sort of add to stock a couple of videos ago, and I talk about, you know, the person who's adding something needs to fill out a form. The storeroom fills out part of it. The purchasing department fills part of it, and, and that 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 uh, form ought to be laid out uh, as the item master data in the computer. Sort of what are the questions, what are the fields that need to be completed in the item master data? And that goes to essentially what do we know about that part? So in data scrubbing, this is where we're going back and we're confirming that the information we have on all the parts, and I'm just talking spare parts now, that the information we have on all the spare parts is correct. It's current, it's relevant, it's still a part we need and uh, and we're also looking for duplicates. So uh, data scrubbing is the process we're talking about. And what we're keen in, what we are keen in on is the item master data. And we're looking to see if the information, like I said, is correct. I suggest, and I work with my clients, and we go in and do just a, an audit of say 1%. So let's say you've got a thousand uh, SKUs. We're gonna go in and take 10 of those and we're gonna scrub through that information again in the item master data, see if the information you have is complete and see if it's accurate and current. And based on the findings of that 1%, we'll either continue with another percent or two, or we'll just assume that the item master data is all up to date because we've randomly selected 1%. So what we're looking for is duplicates. I, I believe that we're typically gonna find that we have the same part, but maybe in a different brand, and we shouldn't do that, right? Uh, I'll give you an example. It's something I see quite often. I'll have the same bearing. I'll have like a Temkin bearing. I'll have the exact same bearing, MRC, are the exact same bearing Fafner as far as size goes. You know, it's the same bearing, just in a different flavor because Jim over here is a Temkin guy and Ralph over there is an MRC and Sally over there is a Fafner person. So they like their bearing, if you will. So we wanna look for duplicates and get rid of those, right? That just adds cost to the inventory value. We're also, as I've been saying, at the, I said at the beginning, we're looking for just wrong information. That's the wrong part number. It doesn't go to that machine. It goes to a different machine. It's kept in a different quantity. The vendor is no longer, that's in the item master data. Who do we buy it from? The vendor has changed. The cost has changed. That's important too, because that holds up purchase orders and invoicing and those, those sorts of things. Or it's just flat out old information. It's wrong information or it's old information and we need to brush up on it. Now there's also a process for keeping the item master data current, right? We've got to go in and, and regularly service that, but this data scrubbing process is where we purposely go in from time to time, maybe semi-annual, randomly select 1%, small team, go through the information, and then based on whatever we, our findings are, we either do more, realize we got a big problem, or we're very confident that we've been keeping up with it and uh, things are current. This is exceptionally important. I admit this is not a very sexy part of running a storeroom. This is the behind the scenes, behind the curtain. This is where the real work happens. I encourage you, if you don't have a, have a data scrubbing process, that you create one. I'd be happy to help. Of course, that's what we do. Look forward to hearing from you on this particular topic. I'm Dr. John. This has been your Maintenance Minute.